Well, the Royal Oak Farmers Market will be filled with art and creativity instead of fruits and veggies and flowers. And it's all part of the Royal Oak Market Art Fair edition happening this Thursday and Friday. To give us a glimpse, we're joined by ceramic artist Genevieve Vendez and Allison Neal, the Senior Director of Marketing and Partnerships for the Guild of Artists and Artis Artisans. Artisans. Yes, baby. Ooh. Yes. Allison, so what makes the Royal Oak Market such a unique um, art fair compared to others? Sure, so all of our artists are jury selected artists, so other artists in their practice are reviewing their work. So other ceramic artists looked at Genevieve's work and thought it was quality work. Mm. And also it's a Thursday, Friday event, so don't come at the weekend, we're Thursday and Friday. And it's an evening event, so it goes from 11 to 9 and we have cocktails and live music the whole jam. I love that. So it's a, like a night market. Yeah. Mm. And on a th I love Thursdays, and I think that's the perfect night to go out because you know you get through Friday and then the you weekend. It feels like your weekend recover from that Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> so talk to us about the types of artwork that people can expect to see at the fair. We'll have everything. We'll have jewelry, painting, ceramics. Mm. You name it, we got it. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was you. admiring the work. Yeah, me too. I wasn't oh, paying attention. Like, oh. I'm like, where am I? We're here. Genevieve, what inspires your artwork? And if you can tell us about, about any of your favorite pieces here or even the ones we were admiring yes. so much, like the bees and the toadstools and the skulls. Yeah. Um, so it's very nature and fantasy inspired. Um, I hand build all of the pieces and I hand carve all of the detail. Um, I even have like these little lidded jars. That is that so make great cute. Let's get a shot of this. Hold on. Yes. I love this. Look at that. That's remarkable. That's would you call it a functioning piece? Yeah. yeah. I need yeah. function. That's how you <laughs> described it to us. No, we love that. Everything is super beautiful and the detail. Like, and I said this to you. I felt like a kid. And I came in here like I just want to touch everything. And you said you can touch it. So yes. begs to be touched. Begs to be touched. <laughs> Speaking of, can you show us a little of what goes into creating your artwork? Um, yeah. So I was gonna just demonstrate how I make um, these floral wall pieces that I have displayed over there. Um, I actually make these um, I work in this non-traditional technique where I take fired pieces of ceramics mm. and I combine them into uh, raw clay so I literally just make a little pinch pot pinch pot that's advanced for me yeah, yeah. yeah. but for like, you that's oh. very basic pinch pot. yeah I feel like the pinch pot is uh, not respected as it should <laughs> be. Listen, it'll be respected after this. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So then I literally just take these. Hmm. And then so I'm firing multiple times. Uh, ceramics, like the pottery is fired twice, once without glaze and once with glaze. Mm -hmm. But this has components that will be fired multiple times. And then like that unicorn piece has pieces within it that the um, components have been fired multiple times. That's fascinating. So does that help with like the durability of it? Um, no, it's so that I can kind of like layer things that are more delicate mm. and then even like glaze components to combine them okay. um, to get color without having to like delicately paint around different things. I'm oh. able to like dip a So you've dip created a technique in. to meet with your artistic ability and it's it. Yeah. So this nice. is like yeah. art engineering. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. No, seriously. Like you a said lot of different um, things that go into it, this and I definitely need feel art. like I. This is a unique technique that I kind of came up with. I, I've never heard of it, but I wouldn't. But this is very cool, <laughs> and I think though that this demonstrates why we need arts in school. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. even as adults, we need to pursue this because you're using your mind in so many different ways just by you describing how you do your artwork. Isn't this cool? And no, you're. What do you say, Coach? I mean, I was mesmerized by the the intricate detail. I mean, and then going to something as as a mug that's functional. I'm a pretty practical person, so <laughs> I wouldn't just want the art to be there. I'd want to serve. Like, yeah. would you want another roll out of my ceramic <laughs> yeah. and customized did, couture? And, and what did I say? I wouldn't let anyone touch my <laughs> ceramic. Bring him a paper plate. Yeah. So this event is more than just an art fair. So what else is in, in store? So we're going to have cocktails, beer, and wine. Okay. And we'll also have live music, 60 artists. It's going to be a great event. I can tell. Remind everyone about the event details and how they can get more information. Yes. Uh, it's going to be Thursday and Friday inside the Royal Oak Farmers Market, so <laughs> don't worry about the weather. Okay. And it's 11 to 9 p.m. Awesome. Thank you both so much Thank for being you. with us. Yeah. This is so cool.